Who the report came out late this afternoon. Officers stopped short of calling it a domestic dispute. Instead, they say it was more of an emotional break or mental crisis. Regardless of what it was, Gabby is still missing, and her parents are praying for a safe return. A report obtained by Fox 5 via public records request offers some insight into an incident last month involving missing woman Gabrielle Petito and her boyfriend Brian Laundry when the two were in Moab, Utah. Police officers described it as a, quote, mental health crisis, advised them to separate for the night and regain control of their anxiety. No charges were filed against either of them, according to the documents. Memorize their face, memorize the tattoos. Gabby has been missing for several weeks now. Her her dad appeared on Fox News this morning, becoming even more desperate in the search. The 22-year-old, who was on a cross-country road trip with Laundry last, spoke to her mom in late August when she was on her way to Grand Teton National Park in Wyoming. That was the last time anyone has heard from her. I think there are things that we know in this investigation that we're trying not to release for the integrity of this investigation. Officials have named Laundry as a person of interest. The two documented their cross-country journey on social media. <laughs> Gabby posted this YouTube video on August 19th, and her last Instagram post was six days later. The Northport Police Department is now leading the investigation because the two were living in Florida. Detectives are working around the clock using every resource to find Gabby and bring her home safely or hold anyone accountable. Tolls, highway cameras, gas station surveillance cameras, tips cell phone usage, financials, whatever. Authorities are looking to speak to Laundry, who returned to his home in the van without Gabby. The van has since been recovered and searched for any evidence. We need to know exactly where he was, where she was, their last locations. The two families released dueling statements on Wednesday. Laundry's family continued to stay quiet, citing advice from counsel. Petito's family called Laundry's silence reprehensible and begged him to do the right thing. Gabby's stepdad, Jim, flew to Wyoming on Tuesday to aid in the search. We're here to help law enforcement do what they do best, and that is to find Gabby. And now anyone with information is asked to call this new tip line, that number 800-CALL-FBI, 800-225-5324. Northport police tell us they've received hundreds of tips. In East Islip, Jody Goldberg, Fox 5 News.